All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome to this mental house for some food for our thoughts. Okay? Because I contend that if you're in here, you care about your dome. I certainly do. And I care about yours as well. Um, I would be remiss, though, if I wouldn't do something real special today. I want to shout out from some of my new subscribers. Damien Arnold, thank you for being out there. Servant of the lover. Woo. Okay. Gail Billinger. KJ. Daniel Gunter. Alec. L L Cy One Crucis. Oh boy, that's a good one. Najua Two and Gary Anderson. I want to thank y'all again. Let me reach y'all again. That's Gary Anderson. That's Najua Two. And you know you got a good one. L Cy One Crucis. L Cy One Crucis. Danielle Gunter. KJ. Gail uh, Bellinger, Servant of the Lover. And they, that's, that's a slick one right there. And uh, Damian Earl. Let me welcome y'all to the mental house. And thank you for being out there with me. I really appreciate it. Tell some of your friends. I'm trying to get the uh, channel's number up. YouTube just manipulates so much stuff with the subscribers, with the likes, and all of it. So... I do this because, um, not because any other reason is that I like to connect with y'all. And so, you know, some of this stuff can't stay inside of people. And when you've been around long enough, sometimes you need people to share stuff with and that, um, feedback off of stuff when they're especially wondering what is going on on this, in this planet? What is going on? I think if you're older, you have a responsibility to try to bridge a gap. If you're older, you have to um, not only repent for some of the things that your generation have done to the generation behind. And so you have a calling to um, uh, uh, put out information from what you can recall and remember before it becomes distorted, distorted, I'm sorry, by the dominant group. I always say older people in our communities, and now I'm one of them, are like walking libraries. Why don't you ask them and let them hear from their perspective as opposed to um, mainstream? Because if you get mainstream, <laughs> it's exactly what you're going to get, blame stream. And they blaming you for everybody, but sometimes you can get the truth when you bridge the gap with the youth. And um, I thank God for the ability to do that. And I just want to thank y'all for being out there to support it. Okay? So with that being said, I'm going to get on over to this video. Y'all, we're going to talk today about a little bit of voter fraud. Okay? Because I'm so sick of... When I hear that, it just um takes me into um post-traumatic stress. Because as a lot of y'all know, I got arrested for voter fraud. When Alberto Gonzalez, I believe it was in 2007, he did a sweep of the country. See, see, this voter fraud shit is not a problem like people think. What it is, it's a Republican um tactic that they've been using. How long ago that's passed? I'm saying 2007. So this, I'm talking about 13, 14 years ago. This is what they do. They suppress the votes. See. And I guess what frustrates me as um, a citizen is that how can, if we know they're doing this and you know it's wrong, how can we allow this to continue to happen? And why does it continue to happen? And that's why people don't have any kind of faith in um, the political system. You know, and I don't either, basically. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I, I do trust spiritual principles. I do know that there is a hierarchy, and I do know that what so is it above, it will be below. Okay? And I also know that people are what create all these systems and all these um, stigmas and issues and isms and schisms, and only people can fix them. That I know. Right? 
So this voter scheme thing is something that they've been saying forever. They've been doing forever. They've been suppressing the vote forever. And what happened with me is, like I told you, I work the polls all the time. <laughs> this is something that, shout out to Jessie Mae Jones. May she rest in peace. Um, she was a Seminole. Uh, and a very, very staunch community activist. She got me into, uh, um, activism and working the polls and understanding what was going on in my community and how this works and how this works. And because I had the experience of city government, didn't mean I was a snitch. It meant that fusing these two energies together, it, you know, we got a little bit uh, done. Um, shout out to Sister Lucille Barringer, who um, was the first black woman who to run for mayor here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, so I, 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 I'm saying this to say um, this voter fraud stuff, y'all, it ain't nothing new. This Republican um Try to steal your vote. I don't trust anything because it's all messed up and it's all, in my opinion, just my humble opinion, two wings on the same bird. Okay, that's why you never see the uh, the Democrats going in. You know, they, 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 everything is oh, let them do whatever they want to do. It's just all mad. Okay, so I believe that part of um, aspect of it when people get real frustrated with politics, but. But it is the only job where the people, if the people really made, hell, the people, listen, you believe in a, a lover that's done duped you. You don't believe in a woman who done told you lies. Okay. So why is it so hard to say, okay, if it's a possibility that I can change my life to do this, I'm just going to do it. But the thing about it is not if not enough of us do it and not enough of us put people in place. It's like setting up. It's like playing checkers and not chess. If you want to continue to play checkers, you're going to walk away and say, ah. But if you want to get on the board, you're going to be like, OK, mm -hmm. I got to figure out how they doing this. And then you got you, your numbers are already there. Why do you think that people are trying to keep you from voting? Because your numbers are there. Whether you believe in it or not, somebody do. So for the fact that I know that because I done wasted my time on a lot worse shit, like bad Hollywood parties, bad 25 cent quarter parties, um, after hours where they done been shot up. And listen, I done wasted my time doing worse things than going to vote. <laughs> so let's keep it real. Do something that's in your best interest. As far as I'm concerned, if anybody worked as hard as they do to try to keep black people from having firearm and to keep us from organizing and to keep us from voting, hmm, as my grandbaby said, duh, duh, nah, 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 duh. <laughs> I'd be like, what? It go like this. Because in other words, if you don't see how this is connected, something is something wrong with you. Duh. So so this Republican, this voter fraud, all this shit is real. They lie. When Roberto Gonzalez did that and they come sweeping me up and putting me in the thing talking about because the whole thing was, remember, Mike McGee. That's what they were mad about. I don't have a criminal record, like I told you before. So the only thing they could get me was, here we go, got this singer, active, this recording artist, and this this activist. Uh, let me embarrass her and all of her family members and constituents and clients. So so she won't work again in this town. We're going to accuse her of voter fraud. And guess what? We're going to put some of them in jail. I don't even know what the hell. To, what do you mean? Voter fraud. And of course, I was not convicted. 
That, and I wasn't the only one. There was even a white woman over in Waukesha, and I felt really bad because she got way worse. Um, she was actually um, uh, 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 the head of um, Mary. I can't think of what her job was. But to make a long story short, what they did to her was short of tragic. Okay? She was not guilty. Just like I was not guilty. Okay? But what they did was they tried to charge us with voter fraud. And so enough people will be afraid. Like what's happening now. You get afraid. Like a lot of people, whenever they start seeing the dominant society pushing back on them, they get afraid. They start telling you, you better not do that. They're going to do it. Listen, they're going to do it anyway. So if the spirit tell me to move on, I got to move on. it. Okay. No things have not been extremely at all because I the way I worked is such a sensitive um uh, um um uh um uh, besides doing my music because I'm always good thing I have that because I wouldn't have survived and if it wasn't for people like good brothers like John Hughes who is my white brother um help me to support me so I could feed my family because nobody wanted to even mess with me um or my agency. Now, I can tell you how powerful these people can be and what they can do to you when they feel like, um, you know, you feel like you're doing too much. And that's why when we turn against each other, I get so upset about that. Because I didn't get out of jail because um, the people had a fund for me. Neither did my counterparts. You know? So when y'all get to believe in all this voter fraud stuff, and when you're at the point where um, you, you don't even uh, think that your vote counts, it's not going to matter. Um, and I'm not going to do it. Just, all I'm saying is you wasted time before. And if it is a waste of time, you've wasted time before. Do it. I'd rather do it. It's a song. I'd rather have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Right? So, just like your American Express, might as well do it. Don't leave home and not do it. And for all of the people who are probably going to get charged with voter fraud, keep your nose clean because it's the same thing they did back in 2007 8. they going to, they're pulling it again, they're pulling it. And you have to understand that this cult that has taken over the uh, Republican Party and Donald Trump and Attorney Barr, y'all, I don't care what nobody say, they got to go. Because this right here, this right here, in my opinion, is a real crossroad for America. It really is. Are we going to continue to have a democracy or are we going to end up a dictatorship? The, uh, Donald Trump is in bed with all those Russians and so are a lot of, of other people up in the uh, the White House. Why do you think they call him Moscow Mitch? I mean, and y'all better wake up or we're going to lose our country. And yes, I say our country because my ancestors, as well as yours, bled and died for this. My ancestors are so crazy, they fought on the North and the South. Okay? My, that's how crazy and brainwashed we are. So, you don't have to worry about some of us got Stockholm Syndrome and we're going to love you no matter what you do. Just like an old uh, loyal puppy, as Paul Mooney would say. Oh, Shep. Okay? But this is all I know. And while a lot of people try to pick on you and say, go back to Africa and yada, 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 go back to the continent. Yes, we need dual citizenship. But don't be a fool to think if you go back over there, <laughs> let me just throw this in this bone, uh, everything is hunky-dory. You get into disagreements with people over there that's going to call you an American. <laughs> oh, you foreigner. Oh, you American. How dare you think you're up to you an American. You're like, but I'm black. All that. Okay. So let's get off the color thing. Okay. Do your due diligence to get your vote out there. Take somebody with you. And if you haven't applied for um, 
you know, mail in ballot by now. You probably didn't plan on it, and you probably gonna have to go stand out. Just make sure you strap up and go. So, with that being said, don't take anything for granted. It's all a master, and it is your constitutional right. Exercise it and use it well. Okay. All right. With that being said. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share. Thank you, new subs, for subbing out with me. I appreciate you. And maybe you can bring a friend back to the service next week. Oh, service next week. Anyway, I'll see y'all in the next video.